Good morning! This is Manang Nang Bayan ulit. Nandito po ulit ako at kakanta ulit tayo. Alam nyo naman po, gustong gusto ko pong kumanta para sa ating Panginoon. Pag umaga, umaga na po sa amin dito ngayon. At <coughs> kakanta po tayo ulit, okay? Para sa ating Panginoon, tuwang-tuwa po ako pag nakakaranas po ako. Every time na umupo po ako dito or magbasa tayo ng salita ng Panginoon is may ma, may ma bubunot tayo na ay bibigay ng Lord na pa kanta para sa kanya. So I hope na ma-enjoy niyo na naman po ang kanta ni Manang niyo for God's glory. Okay. One, two, ready, set, go. <clears throat> We come and bow down to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Savior of this world. We come and bow down to the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the savior of this world. There is no remission of sins without the shedding of his blood. Through his blood, all sins are washed away. We come and bow down to the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Savior of this world. Jesus' blood was shed on Calvary. His hands pierced on the hanging tree. His blood burst it out for you and me to wash away the sins of you and me. There is no remission of sins without the shedding of His blood. Through His blood, all sins are washed away. Jesus' blood was shed on Calvary. His hands pierced up the hanging tree. His blood burst it out for you and me. To wash away your sins, you and me. We come and bow down to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Savior of this world. That's why we need Jesus in our day. Take a time to see of what He had done. He did. Give his life for you and me. You are precious, special to God. You are no longer who you are. You are a new creation by now. Live by faith every day now. Walk with love while you are alive. We come and bow down to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Savior of this world. There is no remission of sins without the shedding of His blood. Through His blood, all sins are washed away. Jesus' blood was shed on Calvary. His hands pierced on the hanging tree. His blood burst it out for you and me to wash away your sins and me. You are no longer who you are. You are a new creation by now. Live by faith every day now. Walk with love while you are alive. We come and bow down to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Savior of this world. There is no remission of sin without the shedding of His blood. Through His blood, all sins are washed out. You are no longer who you are. You are a new creation by now. 
live by faith every day now walk with love while you are alive walk with love while you are alive walk with love while you are alive god bless you my dear guys so nakakanta na naman po tayo ng isang kanta for god's glory today so jesus without the shedding of his blood there's no remission of sins because of our sins we uh, we are all sinners our sinful nature mga kapatid all of us are sinners all of us come short of the glory of god that's why we need a savior and only who can save us only jesus christ only him there's no other way and there's no other one and there's no other influential person in this world or all over the world any powerful people in this world he cannot save you but you know i just want to introduce you my friends who is going to save you only only there's no other name from heaven and earth that can save you because of your sins and my sins but only jesus christ that's why jesus christ died for you and me jesus blood was shed away on the calvary and used to wash and purify our sins so that we can go to the father that's why my brothers and sisters your manang ng bayan is here again to encourage you and to uh, to tell you that there is a savior there is a one and only who can save your souls and your and your life through Jesus Christ he is he rescued you he came on earth to rescue you and he was died and crucified on the cross so that you and me will have eternal life take care and god bless uh, i will read this one psalm 31 uh, napakagandang meaning nito 31 until psalm 31 oh lord i have come to you for protection don't let me be disgraced save me for you do what is right turn your ear to listen to me rescue me quickly be my rock of protection a fortress where I will be safe. You are my rock and my fortress. For the honor of your name, lead me out of this danger. Pull me from the trap my enemies set for me, for I find protection in you alone. I entrust my spirit unto your hand. Rescue me, Lord, for you are a faithful God. I hate those who worship worthless idols. I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your unfailing love. For you have seen my troubles and you care about the anguish of my soul. You have not handed me over to my enemies, but have set me in safe place. Have mercy on me, O oh Lord, I am in distress. Tears blur my eyes, my body and soul are withering away. I am dying from grief. My Years are shortened by sadness. Sin has drained my strength. I am wasting away from within. I am scorned by all my enemies and despised by my neighbors. Even my friends are afraid to come near me. When they see me on the street, they run the other way. I am ignored as, I, uh, as if I were dead, as if I were broken path. I have heard the many rumors about me and I am surrounded by terror. My enemies conspire against me, plotting to take my life. But I am and trusting you, O Lord, saying you are my God. My future is in your hands. Rescue me from those who haunt me down grantlessly. Let your favor shine on your servant. I will repeat this one again. This is very good. But I am entrusting you, O Lord, saying you are my God. My future is in your hands. Rescue me from those who hunt me down endlessly and let your favor, let your favor, O oh God, let your favor shine on your servant in your unfailing love. Rescue me. Don't let me disgrace, O oh Lord, for I call out to you for help. Let the wicked be disgraced. Let them lie silent 
in the grave. Silence their lying lips, those proud and arrogant lips that accuse the godly. How great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. How great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. You lavish it on those who come to you for protection, blessing them before the watching world. You hide them in the shelter of your presence safe from those who conspire against them. You shelter them in your presence, far from accusing tongues. Praise the Lord, for he has shown me the wonders of his unfailing love. He kept me safe when my city was under attack. In panic, I cried out. I am cut off from the Lord, but you heard my cry for mercy and answered my call for help. Love the Lord, all you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to him. But he harshly punishes the arrogant to so be strong and courageous. All you who put your hope in the Lord. So be strong and courageous. All you who put your hope in the Lord. Ito po, this is the uh, David's uh, letter. When he was in distress, when he was in trouble, he cried out to the Lord, and he knows and he believes. There's a lots of enemies for David on this, uh, on this um, verses and chapter, chapter 31. He expressed his feelings to God. He siya ang pagsusumbungan po natin pag nakakaramdam po tayo ng, ng pagsubok or may mga nang aapi po sa ating lahat. Tayo mga kapatid, ito po ay encouragement, ito po ang salita ni David, kinakanta niya po ito sa kanyang master at sino ang master niya ang ating Diyos na he, uh, helper niya, diniscribe niya si Jesus Christ, diniscribe niya ang Diyos na siya ang rock at siya po ang protection niya in times of troubles, in times of difficulties, siya po ang takbuhan niya, tumatakbo si, G si David kay God upang magpasaklolo and he he said that he, you are my hiding place you are high you hide me on your presence pag tumakbo po tayo sa presensya ng Panginoon pag tayo po ay uh, nakakaranas ng mga uh, pagsubok especially this pandemic in this world right now you know kung kanino po tayo tatakbo mga kapatid we can run unto our God because we are safe in His presence. Ito po ang binabangkit ni, ni David. I entrust everything unto you. I entrust my spirit and type unto you. And I know that you are going to save me because you are my rock and my Savior. And I am safe in your presence. Sa presensya ng Panginoon, dahil tatakbo mga kapatid. Hindi po tayo mapapano. Kaya ni-introduce ko po ang kinanta ko po kanina na si Jesus Christ na matay po siya para sa ating lahat, sa ating kasalanan. Kaya dito rin sinabi rin ni ni David na siya po ang takbuhan niya at sa kanyang nag, nagtatago si si David sa presensya ng Diyos kasi pag si, ang Diyos ang magtago sa atin, wala pong makakalapit sa atin. Kaya mga kapatid, sasaklolo, sino ang magsasaklolo sa atin? Si Jesus Christ, ang ating Diyos na nagbu, nagbigay ng buhay sa atin na walang hanggan sa kanyang pama, sa pamamagitan ng kanyang pagkapako sa cross. At ang sinabi dito, Love the Lord, all you godly people, kayo po na uh, nagmamahal sa Diyos, Mahalin niyo kayo pong may takot sa Diyos. Mahalin niyo ang Diyos. Tumakbo po tayo sa Kanya. Purihin po natin siya. Siya po ang magre-rescue sa ating lahat. Siya po ang magde-defense sa atin. Kung ano man ang gagawin ng mga tao, mga kalaban, mga nang aapi sa atin. Alam niyo mga kapatid, magsusumbong po lamang po tayo sa ating Panginoon kasi hindi niya po tayo bibiguin. Kaya I hope na na-encourage na naman po kayo. Ihantras natin lahat ang ating anuman ang nararamdaman nyo, anuman ang, ang kinikerry nyo, huwag nyo pong ikerry because give it all to the Lord. The battle belongs to the Lord. Don't stress yourself because of this, what is happening in this world. Just give it to God. Run unto God and seek for help because He will save you. He will not fail you. But he will always dare to rescue you and guide you and hide you in his presence because our God is a powerful God and because of our God loves you so much. And there's no favoritism. I always say this. I always remind reminding you about the love of God. There's no favoritism in God. He loves you no matter who you are, no matter where what is your dialect, no matter where uh, where did you came from. If you are 
a career person or a degree holder or you are only a nag aararo or farmers or uh, DH or caregiver, there's no favoritism. Remember, guys, there's no favoritism in God. He loves you eh, no matter who you are. And I always say this to remind you that God loves you so much and there's no there's no favoritism in them in him there is no partiality in God because he loves everybody but he wants you to put your trust to put your life to give your life to God and accept him as your personal savior and you will declare and proclaim to your family to your to your friends that there's only one who can save you only Jesus Christ Sabi nga ni David dito, Praise the Lord, for He has shown me the wonders of His unfailing love. He kept me safe when my city was under attack. Kahit ano man ang nangyayari, may bagyo man or calamities, ano man ang dumarating sa mundo nito, hindi niya tayo pababayaan. At ito rin ang sinabi ni David, Pupurihin ko pa rin ang Diyos. Itataas ko pa rin ang pangalan ng Diyos. I still praise the Lord. I still declare that He is my, my that He is mighty. I still declare that He is my Savior. I still proclaim to this world that there is God who cares so much for these people. There is God who cares so much for 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 uh, for everyone. That's why, brothers and sisters, I hope that do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed and do not be afraid. God will follow you. His unconditional love following you and covering you and rescue you, rescuing you and will protect you no matter where you are, who you are and what you are. God loves you. This is Manang ng Bayan ulit na nagbibigay sa inyo ng encouragement. Hope that you are enlightened. Hope that you are encouraged and hope that you are that you feel love for this uh, Bible. Our Bible is the source of our strength. Our Bible is the source of our knowledge. When we seek God and ask wisdom and knowledge from our God and the Holy Spirit will teach us and reveal unto our hearts. So how to walk daily, how to walk in godliness, in godly way. God bless you again. I always... Uh, leave this message this uh, phrase for you god loves you so much and there's no partiality in god please subscribe and listen to the songs and to the encouragement of your manang for god's glory i'm doing this for god's glory take care bye for now